Hi, this is Stephen of Life of Stephen. I was, was reading today about the laws of the land, whether we should obey the laws of the land or not. Paul stated in the Bible, and I'm trying to remember the scripture real quick. I think my uh, wife Leah here has it in front of me, and maybe she'll quote you the scripture. Would you please quote the scripture, please? The uh, scripture is actually Romans, um, Romans chapter 13, 1 through 14. And she will read it in just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God <coughs> has established. Authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath, to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of consequence, of conscience. This is also why you pay taxes for the authorities are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from the slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. Okay, does that mean that we need to obey the law of the land? It seems like we have to. If we're supposed to do this, and I'm always talking about constitutional laws. Constitutional laws such as freedom of speech, for example. Each church should allow every person to be able to speak their freedom and be able to allow their opinion under the law. If churches that don't do that then they're disobeying the law of God. How can you disobey the law of God if you're not allowing the freedom of speech of every person in the church? For example, let's talk about other constitutional laws while we're here, of other the same church that I was going to, the apostolics. The church also violated the law of the freedom of the press. What is the freedom of the press? To be able to record and be able to record uh, like church services. To be able to, like, to express them and put them on YouTube like this video is going to go on YouTube. My rights were infringed. I was not allowed to record videos on the church services. Why? Yet we're supposed to obey the law of the land. The law of the land says that we have a right constitutionally to be able to record videos called the freedom of the press. 
we also have a right to freedom of religion. If we disagree with religion, we should have a right constitutionally to express that. If we say that the television is not wrong, that is our right, constitutionally. Yet apostolic churches, and the one like the Apostolic Lighthouse Church in 1500 North Abilene, says I don't have any rights under the law. But yet the law, but God says that the authorities of the world, and when you live on this earth, are the same authorities that are considered good. We're to obey the law. Seems to me that if, if we are to obey God's word, we need to obey the law of the land. If the law of the land says every person has a right to freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to make choices, then that person should be allowed the Capricorn to have a recording device, to record the videos of the church. Seems to me that today's world, we have so many people in hokey religions that violate constitutional rights. Why is it that our nation allows this? You know, the laws of the land says that they're not allowed to have Bibles in, uh, in schools. Yet we allow Bibles in jail. What's the difference? I don't understand. Seems to me, to me today, churches are just as disobedient in the laws of the land as they are in the laws of people. To discriminate against a child because of the fact they don't do this or do that doesn't make it right or correct. A person has a right to be to be able to to speak their mind. A child should have a right to his ability to be have freedom of speech. It seems to me the churches have forgotten what the law of the land means. This is my video for the day. And I want you to know that I'm not angry at the Apostolic Church, but I am angry that violations of the law are being dis like segregation, to segregate a person based on whether they have a disability or, or whether to segregate them because they don't do them, do what you tell them to do. To segregate a, ch a child to wear clothing that you say is appropriate, using opinions, it's not right. The United States government says every person is free. We have a right to freedoms in America, freedom and constitutional rights. If this is the case, then the church needs to do the same. We have to obey the laws of the land. According to that, we have to obey the laws of the land. Why is it that churches don't preach on that? I don't know. Y'all have a good day. And this is my video for the day. And I'll see you again. Bye.